State is in a panic, fearing Putin shared with Trump devastating information not yet reported by Jim Hoft for TheGatewayPundit.com. We reported over the weekend that the Democrats, Deep State Mueller, and Rosenstein and their MSM are doing all they can to prevent President Donald Trump from meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin, right? Why are they so persistent in stopping the president of the U.S. from meeting with Putin? You would think this was a good thing, right? President Trump is planning on meeting with the Russian President uh, Putin over the next few days. Uh, okay, we all know that. The deep state is going crazy, uh, where CNN reported President Trump should cancel his meeting. We know that. Vox goes as far as to calling the meeting a gift for Putin. So that's the MSM. So why are the Democrats, the deep state and the MSM, so petrified of President Trump meeting with Putin? The answer is because they are deathly afraid of not what Putin might tell Trump, but what evidence Putin might have that would indict their leaders in prior criminal actions. We nailed it today, yesterday. During the presser with President Trump, Russian President Putin dropped a bomb on the deep state members in the intelligence community. The Obama administration and the Clintons, as we reported today, Putin offered, per, uh, uh, offered permitting officials in the U.S., including Mueller, to Russia to assist in their investigation of the supposed Trump-Russia collusion story. Then Putin dropped uh, his bomb when the U.S. Uh, could reciprocate uh, Russia in one of their investigations. For instance, we can bring up Mr. Browder in the particular case. Business associates of him uh, have earned over $1.5 billion in Russia and never paid any taxes, neither in Russia or the United States, and yet the money escaped the country. They were transferred to the U.S. Uh, they sent a huge amount of money, $400 million, as a contribution to the campaign of Hillary Clinton. Well, that's their personal case. It might have been legal, the contribution itself, but the way the money was earned was illegal, so we have solid reason to believe that some U.S. intelligence officers accompanied and guided these transactions, so we have an interest in questioning them. You think Mueller's going to allow that? No, no. We'll get to the clip. The Democrats, the MSM, and Deep State are in a complete panic. Obama gang members came out of hiding, screaming with fear over what Trump may have learned from Putin, so much so that they claim President Trump should be impeached. <laughs> it's a joke at this point. Uh, John Brennan, Donald Trump's press conference performance in Helsinki rises to and exceeds the threshold of high crimes and misdemeanors. It is nothing, uh, was nothing short of treasonous. Yeah, talk about treason, Obama, uh, uh, Brennan and Obama, yes. But who's the treasonous character here? Uh, not only were Trump's uh, comments imbecilic, you think they were imbecilic or right to the point, guys. Uh, he is uh, wholly in the pocket of Putin. Republican patriots, where are you? Yeah, John Brennan, who are you in the pocket of? Could it be maybe George Soros and his cronies? And where are the Republican patriots? We stand behind President Trump 1,000%. Former Obama CIA Director John Brennan was not alone. Hillary Clinton, James Comey, Democrat Congress members as well as never Trumpers like Speaker Paul Ryan all condemned the president. Don't believe their complaints for a minute. The president was again outstanding. Watch for yourself. The deep state and the Democrats are terrified of what Putin may have provided Trump. They all knew for some time that they were the ones that colluded with Russia and they were the ones vulnerable as a result. Their days are now numbered and they know it. Today, the narrative again shifted. 
they talk by the end of the they talk by the end of the days was about Obama. He was implicated in the Russia scandal by Lisa Page. Oh, she better have secret uh, service take care, uh, watch her. That's for sure. But now they have it on tape. But she better be careful. More texts were released showing Obama's connections to the scandal. Others in the news began speaking of Obama being involved in Russiagate, and the president noted on Hannity that corrupt FBI agent Strzok reported ultimately to Obama. President Trump knows some things that he is not yet letting out of the bag, and as a result, the deep state is in a panic never seen before. So you know we are winning. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm, you know, I'm not sure. Did the MSM report on the 400 million that Hillary got for her campaign from the Russians? I wonder if mainstream media, if any of you guys checked it out, let me know, because uh, I'd like to know, because I don't watch them. Uh, you know, because this is like, uh, I'm more than sure. I don't know how they're going to avoid uh, reporting on that. Uh, we'll, we'll take a quick listen again to this, if you 12 like. Twelve alleged intelligence officers of, uh, of Russia. I don't know the full extent of the situation, but the President Trump mentioned this issue, and I will look into it. So far, I can say the following. The things that off the top of my head. We have an acting, an existing agreement between the United States of America and the Russian Federation, an existing treaty, that dates back to 1999, uh, the mutual assistance on criminal cases. This treaty is in full effect. It works quite efficiently. On average, we initiate about 100, 150 criminal cases upon request from foreign states. Uh, for instance, the last year, uh, there was a one extradition case upon the request sent by the United States. So this treaty has specific legal procedures. We can offer that the appropriate commission headed by, by Special Attorney Mueller, he can use this treaty as a solid foundation and send an, a formal, an official request to us so that we would interrogate, we would hold a questioning of these individuals who he believes are privy to some crimes. And our law enforcement are perfectly able to do this questioning and send the appropriate materials to the United States. I, I hate to interrupt, but this, you know, it's so hilarious that this, the 12, uh, the indictments that Mueller actually uh, gave out really and truly backfired on Mueller. Wow, like it is like the biggest, the biggest uh, joke on Mueller that t to date, like this is like really am amazing, like Putin's saying, bring it on now. Moreover, we can meet you halfway, we can make another step we can actually permit official representatives of the United States, including the members of this very commission um, headed by Mr. Mueller, we can let them into the country and they will be present at this questioning. But in this case, there is a, there's another condition. Um, this kind of effort should be a mutual one. Then we would expect that the Americans would reciprocate and they, they would question officials, including the um, officers of law enforcement and intelligence services of the United States, whom we believe are, who have something to do with illegal actions on the territory of Russia. And we have to, um, to request the presence of our law enforcement. Yeah, but the difference is Mueller doesn't want to get to the truth. Mueller knows what the truth is. He knows that our intelligence are corrupt just like he is. He, that, how's he going to want to get to the truth? But it's a brilliant move on Putin's part with this uh, statement that he said. For instance, we 
can bring up uh, the Mr. Mr. Browder in this particular case. Business associates of Mr. Browder have earned over one and a half billion dollars in Russia. They never paid any taxes, neither in Russia nor in the United States. And yet the money escaped the country. They were transferred to the United States. They sent a huge amount of money, 400 million as a contribution to, uh, to the campaign of Hillary Clinton. Well, that's their personal case. It might have been legal, the contribution itself, but the way the money was earned was illegal. So we have a solid reason to believe that some intelligence officers accompanied and guided these transactions. So we have a, an interest of questioning them. But we can all, that could be a first step and we can also extend it. Options abound and uh, they all can be found in an appropriate legal framework. And did you direct any of your officials? Huh. So as you can see, you know Mueller doesn't want this, but what a brilliant play on the side of Putin calling out, uh, suggesting that Mueller come to Russia and give Russia also the opportunity to question the U.S. intelligence on the, this, the transfer of these funds, you see? What a what brilliance, what brilliance. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.